let's go with public abstract class and call it character. Let's just imagine we're creating a character for a game or a couple of characters. So to show you guys the error first is the trying to create an abstract, uh, trying to create an object out of an abstract class. So character, my character is equal to new character. And if we try to run it, we get the, I misspelled this, okay. <laughs> now if we run it and actually spell it correctly, it tells me that I could not create an instance of an abstract class because again, it's not a complete class or a complete object. So let's start with creating some data members. So let's go with public, integer, and then speed. And let's create another public integer. Um, let's see, health. All right. And then finally, let's create another, a third integer and call it um, test. And we'll make that equal to two. Let's close that test and make it equal to two. All right. So now let's create an abstract method. So abs so public abstract. Uh, let's create this avoid and make it print. So we want to print out what the speed, health, and test are pretty much. Um, and let's let's give it a last one. Let's give it a name. So public string name. So we want to have a function that prints all this information to the user. But we haven't initiated what name is, we haven't initiated what speed is, and health. So we can't really print them here. Um, and since the method is abstract, I cannot initiate it here. Um, so now let's create a regular function. So public function r. Let's call this test function. And all this will do is just, uh, it'll multiply the, our test by two. So test is equal to test times two. So we should get four. And let's make this an integer so that way it returns it. So, and now we return test. And we haven't necessarily talked about methods, but we will get to this in a little more detail um, later on in the um, course. Um, and then there's another uh, type of method that we can do. So our function here, test function, can only be modified within abstract class or, you know, pretty much it can only be modified here. There's a way that we can make a class that can be modified somewhere else or from classes that inherit from it. And this is called virtual classes. So virtual class which means that can be uh, changed in later, or let's say in classes that revive, derive from the base class. But it doesn't, it's not necessary, so, but not necessary. Let's do required, it's shorter. All right. So the way we do this is just say public virtual void, and let's call this, um, let's say swing. And all this will do is just print swing to the console. So console that right line, and we'll just say swing. All right. And if you run this, we should not have any compilation errors. All right, so let's just stick with this as our abstract class. Like I said, this must be modified. So must be modified in derived classes or inheriting classes. And this will not be able to be changed. So. Let's start with a new class, so public class. Let's call this Swordsman. 
uh, the brackets that are wrong or the parentheses and to inherit you need the double dot notation so and then you just say character and if I just try to run it as it is I'll get an error because I have not defined what this function is yet so if we run it rex test to the column swordsman does not implement inherited abstract member print so we need to say what print is <laughs> 